Welcome back to Ready Player Rick guys, hope you're all doing really well. So in today's quick video we're just going to show you how to get the Steam VR games working on your Quest or Quest 2. Now you will need a gaming PC or gaming laptop that's uh, VR ready. But what you need to do is you go onto the store. Uh, no, not that now. Go away. <laughs> then you go on to the... Uh, Desktop. There we go. Comes up anyway. Can't remember how much it cost me. I've had it on my my uh, Quest One and Quest Two for a long time, but it's not massively expensive. But with that, obviously, I've already got it installed, so I don't need to buy it. There we go, and we launch that, and it connects up to your computer. Sometimes it takes a moment. There we go. What you'll need to do is you'll need to download. Virtual Desktop Streamer. Okay, so now what you want to do is type in vrdesktop.net, and as you can see, you download that here. I'm not going to download it because I've already downloaded it. Uh, once you've done that and it's all installed on your computer, uh, let's get rid of that. Uh, what you need to do on here now, my name under my Quest 2 obviously is Ready Player Rick. What you'll need to do is click Change or update whichever the case may be when you download the new one I'm going to click no to that in a minute pop in your name that you have your game tag name on the quest and then that way you've got it all linked up and that's pretty much it I mean I'll quickly go on to Steam VR just you will need to download Steam VR as well just minimize that because I've got that in the middle let's just show it works quickly There you go. Let's see your uh, home environment for the Steam VR. Uh, there's obviously a few games I've got installed at the moment. So if you like this video, you know, uh, give it a like. Really appreciate it. If you want to see my future content, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. And uh, pop in the comments below. You know whether you've got virtual desktop already, whether you've been using it a lot. I'd be interested to know. And if you're new to it. Obviously, pop in the comments, you know, how you're getting on. But I, I think it's really brilliant. I don't need any wires attached. It just makes it more feel more immersive. Cheers, guys.